Hello, my loves. What justice is coming in for you? We're going to find out today. And I thank you for being here. I wanted to tell you guys about some huge shifts going on in the collective. I know you're feeling it. Um, a lot of relief, a lot of release. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a new moon coming up soon. So I think you're going to have some justice coming in. We're going to find out what that'll be. Here's pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you guys want a personal, all the information is in the description. Uh, go check it out for February. It's cheaper than normal. So um, I'd love to read for you. Let's get started. Pile one. Hey guys, welcome to today's reading. So we have a new moon in Pisces on the 20th. So I'm filling this on the 16th, so of February. Um, it's timeless though, but we do have some new energies coming in and I want to find out what justice is coming in for you. So pile one, let's find out. Let's ask your spirit team. They're actually asking me to pull this. Let's see. Actually, let's get a blessing card for you. Let's start out with a blessing card first. I'll get to the, the meat and potatoes of the reading in a second. I want to figure this, this out for you. Maybe... Maybe I can pull a card as to a manifestation you're going to be having soon. Music. Oh, music business. That's funny. I was, I was seeing somebody in like a recording studio or tr getting their music out there, getting their music published. It doesn't have to be music though, guys. You might be having success in business. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Wow, you're gonna feel so much more emotionally fulfilled in doing your work and doing business. More focus. Nice. I feel like that more focus is people focused on you. That's what I'm getting. People are more focused on you than have ever been before. A couple more. Spirit, what other blessings do they have coming in? Pleasant news and one more. even better plan. Okay, so there's something you were trying to manifest and it doesn't seem to be going right. Um, you might find out that it doesn't happen the way you wanted it to, but there's something even better coming in very soon. It's going to be a surprise. This might be a person bringing in some, oh wow, some good news. And business success, guys, I'm really getting business success for you, okay? Um, really cool. Pile one, I love it. I love it. Let's start with your reading. Justice for you. Oh my God. You guys, I swear to everything, I don't look at these wishing. Did I not just say a wish fulfill? I said that you were trying to get something off the ground. I, I, like you're trying to manifest something and it's not coming in exactly as you wanted it to. It's going to be even better. It's even better. It's like a new source of income. I'm really getting for pile one. It's like you're a business owner or you're wanting to start something with business, a lucrative money plan. Okay. Something about money, like a new stream of income or like a side hustle. And it's like, you're wishing on it and you're finally going to have it something concrete. And I feel like people are going to give you something. You're wishing for people to give you something and they are going to. Okay, so let's let's get some more information here. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, Nine of Pentacles. I'm not taking it, but damn. You love to see the Nine and the Ace together. That's the Ten of Pentacles, babe. I think you were in the past a little bit afraid of judgment. I think you were afraid of, of maybe failing. Six of Swords. But... I think you've, you've overcome that. You've overcome your fear of success. It, it's ironic because a lot of us have a fear of failure, but I think yours was a fear of success. You actually thought that if you succeeded in doing this, I think it's a business for pile one, or I, I feel strongly it's a business. Seven of wands is like you were thinking you'd have to defend yourself more than you're really going to have to. You're not going to have to defend yourself that much. Like your stance. And I just channeled a message on Patreon that you're going to be able to express yourself more freely very soon, collective. So pile one, if you resonate with that Patreon message, go check it out if you want. But this is like you were afraid of judgment, of criticism, and you're actually going to find that people are not as critical as you once thought. They're actually, there's a lot more people sharing pleasant news with you than bad news, okay? Let's keep going. I think that you originally, you felt like this project was failing or you felt like it wasn't going to take off. And that's because you had a fear of being judged, a fear of failure and success. You had a fear of success too. You might have felt really guilty for succeeding when other people around you are not. Wow, the fool, yeah. Doing something new. Maybe you're the first person to graduate. Maybe you're the first person to start a business in your family, the devil. I really am feeling like though there is something here about you think it's going to be worse than it is. Your judgment, your justice is like you're not going to be judged. Like people are going to be okay with what you're doing. That's your justice. Queen of Pentacles, yes, making money. You're going to find a lot more people that are willing to support you than are not. I remember when I first started my business, like nobody in my family really supported me. I had ex extended family that came and visited for holiday once and they 
were so supportive. They paid for a reading for me. It was really nice to see that they cared. But my immediate family, nobody gave a shit. Everybody made fun of me, told me not to do this for a living. And that's what I'm kind of feeling for you, Pile One. Like, you're going to find more support than criticism, okay? Why are people supporting you? Let's see, why? Why? The world, Page of Cups. I just heard because it's a new world. Because it's a new world. People are into creative stuff. People are into creative um, endeavors. Plus, you know, it's, it's post-2020. Everybody's online now. And everybody, everybody understands that creative passions get you paid, get money. It, it, so your justice is actually doing really well in the material world. With the, with the devil here, this is like the 3D world of materiality. And you have the world, the world, and the world here. So this is really you getting a lot more success and stability in the 3D world. So where things were not taking off and progressing like you wanted it to, it's going to soon be doing that, okay? People are gonna support you because they like this idea, whatever you have. Like for instance, say you're a baker. They really like the love that you're pouring into this. You believe in yourself, so other people have to by association. Nine of pentacles, there it is guys. It came out again with the ace of wands. I love it. And the eight of swords were first. You're just not afraid anymore. You're not afraid of confrontation. There's the five of wands. You just don't give a shit. You're like, you know what? It is what it is. I love what I do and do what I love and get paid for it. You guys are getting bank for this, okay? So your justice is you've been wishing for money. You've been wishing for um, a handout from the universe. You're about to get it. You're about to get a leg up, okay? Some, very much in the 3D world. I see, I see the material plane finally working in your favor. Let's get some Oracle cards here. Finally. If some of you really are in the music industry, like that's gonna finally take off for you. Let's get some more here. Justice for pile one. Strength. What's the strength here? What kind of strength? I think you're just, wow, I just heard you're barreling through things. Like, like for instance, if somebody does give you some you know, constructive criticism, I feel like you'll take it with a grain of salt. You'll be like, okay, yes, that I agree with that. And no, I don't agree with that. You're gonna be very strong in your own self and your, it, it, yeah, and knowing what is true and what is not, what's a projection and what is truth. You're just, you're much more firm. You're much more firm now, which I think is really different from what you used to be. No offense, but I had the difference card here and I feel like this is what's changed for you. You no longer really care about being the black sheep. I feel like people look at you a little differently because of you wanting to do all of this. Look at this, there's the focus card. Did I not say more focus on you? And then you have wish and fulfillment. More, more focus on you. This is 17, the number star, the, the star card in tarot. And I'm telling you, it's like people are going to be focused on you. You're doing something a little different, but I think you're going to find that people are here for it. All right, people are really going to enjoy this. Why? Obedience. Movement. Because they've seen that you've been putting in work. People have seen that you have, you've seen your vision all the way to the end. Uh, people have watched you with the vision card here. People have seen you fail miserably at whatever it was because I think of fear. And now you're getting this like 2.0, this revamped 2.0. They've seen you obedient to your goal and they're finally going to see movement take place for you because you're really strong in your own energy and you don't need to impress anybody. It's like you're not doing it to impress people now. You're doing it just to make yourself happy. Like you're not doing it to piss other people off. You're just doing it to make yourself happy. Big difference, big difference, right? I'm not saying you ever did it to hurt somebody, but I just know that when narcissists project at us, that's one thing that typically comes through. It's like, oh wow, your success is deemed a threat to me. Why? Why? That doesn't even make sense, bro. People are just trying to make a living. People are just trying to make themselves happy. And that's, I see what pile one is definitely about to do. Um, what's this movement, please spirit? Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Some of you could be a singer wanting to get known for your singing. I really am getting that. And she looks like she's on a stage here or a podium. You're about to be seen. You're about to be heard, pile one. And it's going to pay your bills. This is paying your bills. Justice for pile one coming in. Justice for pile one. Perseverance. And I'm telling you why you're going to get it and others don't. Because you persevered. You kept fucking doing it. You kept doing it. Even though I feel like you weren't getting anywhere. And this is what people have noticed. I heard for years, people have noticed you, blood, sweat, and tears, and you didn't get anything for it. And I'm telling you, that is totally gonna change. Something about 19, 2019, you could have started this project and it like failed, it didn't take off. People are really gonna notice this. Worry. I am learning that worry does not change an outcome. And then peace. You guys, see, that's the difference. That's the difference. Look, abundance there. We love it. We have worry to peace. 
You were freaking worried about it. You were worried about other people's opinions of you, their projections onto you, and now you're just like, whatever. What the fuck ever. Like, say what you're gonna say. Call me that, I don't care. Call me the devil, I don't care. Call me this, call me that, call me selfish, call me, it doesn't matter, what the fuck ever. And this is bringing in your abundance because you just don't give a shit anymore about people's opinion of you. Guys, this is really inspiring. Like, your justice is coming in. It's gonna be a lot more um, tangible in the 3D for you to start seeing results. Your manifestations are coming in finally. All right, um, especially with money, okay? Especially with money. Yep, that's, that's a yes, I just burped. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, I love you so much. I hope it helped. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so really crazy. As I was shuffling cards, I saw the Knight of Wands twice, which for me lately when I've been reading cards, the Knight of Wands is coming up as an energy pulse, like getting more energy, more vitality. I just heard B12. Somebody might have just taken B12. That's like going to work for you. Okay, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, guys, but I just heard that if somebody just like had an like an inkling to take B12, like that's going to work for you. That's going to work. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, wow. It, it's, it is. It's okay. Justice for pile two looks like more energy, more vitality. I'm not sure why exactly just yet, but you are going to have more vitality. You're going to have a lot more fucking energy to get shit done. Like this is you getting out of bed and like loving life again. Okay. I don't know. You must've dropped somebody. We got the king of swords, like a narcissist or something. Cause you have like all this energy now and it's like vitality and it just, it just feels good. I feel, I love pile two's energy. All right. I really do. So before we get started, I've not looked at these. I'm just going to throw a couple of these blessings cards first. It might resonate. It might not take it or leave it. Nine, nine, nine. Okay. Okay. Um, you might, you might speak Spanish. Okay. Cause strange. I don't know. I heard, heard that, but I heard a Spanish accent here. Um, a new pet. Ooh, you guys might be getting a new, new pet soon. That's nice. Let's see. Help. Help. Help is on the way. Positive outlook. Help. What kind of help? Subliminal is working. A new discovery. Maybe you just found like a new kind of subliminal or a new kind of um, like, um, what is it called? Like a meditation tape or like some, I don't know. What's it called? Iso isochronic t tones or I, I can't think of it. How do you say it? I don't know. It was something about binaural beats. Yeah, you might have like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Just ignore me. Um, let's see. Nope, too many. One last one. New direction. So new discovery, new direction, new energy. <laughs> new pet. Who dis? Damn. You guys, if you want a new, a new phone, now would be the time to get it. Look at this rest. I feel like you're going to sleep better. I feel like you're going to feel more rested when you wake up. So you're going to feel more excited about the day. Like you're just going to have more energy piled to Like I straight up feel like I just drank an energy drink and I definitely did not. Okay. <laughs> I did not even drink caffeine today. And I feel like I could run a marathon right now. Just one more. No, nope, never mind. No more. Okay. Let's get to the reading. Hierophant, the grove. Ooh, look at that cat. Is somebody getting a cat? I bet you anything somebody here is about to get a cat or you just got a cat. Oh my God. Oh, I love it guys. This is, you know what this is giving me? This is you trusting the divine to heal you more. Like, I'm not saying you don't need medical advice. Like go, go to a doctor if you need it, okay? But this is like you trusting the divine that you're going to be able to heal your body naturally, organically. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Again, I'm not a doctor. Go the fuck to a doctor if you need one, okay? All right? We live in the 21st century. Like, you should probably go to a doctor if you need one. But yeah, I definitely see you trusting the divine on things, too, and your own gut instinct about, like, what you're allergic to, what kind of foods you, you love, what kind of foods your body doesn't love, that kind of stuff. I love it. This is such a great energy. Guys, I freaking love it. Let's get more here. With the Grove card, please, Spirit. What is Grove? What is Grove? Ten of Pence. Love it. Love it. What's the Grove card? Four of Pence. Love it. Love it. <laughs> the Hermit. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because y'all going to be sitting pretty in your own damn energy. I'll tell you. You're going to be looking so good in your own fucking energy. And you don't need anybody. I feel like this is, this is really giving me recluse vibes. This is like, stay the F away from me. I have so much energy. I'm so content on my own. I don't need your ass. <laughs> and with the X, I'm getting like, no, I don't need you. You don't cross go and you don't get $200. No, this is mine. This is you being a miser and it feels like a really good miser. This is like somebody who fucking gets it. You're finally allowed to be selfish in your own energy. This is how you're gonna heal too. 
Yep, two of cups. Ooh, you're gonna heal something like a partnership maybe. Well, that is the Hierophant card, a commitment for me. I, just, I read it as a high level commitment, so. Ooh, with the fool. Guys, what's this? What the heck is this? Because your justice looks like a lot more energy, but, and vitality. But it's like somebody wants to pour into you even more and you want to give to someone. And this is you giving to only one person. Like this does not feel like you have a million people to give to. It's just you and one other person. Well, maybe, maybe more than one. We do have the seven of cups, which talks about multiple options. So, I mean, it could be more than one person, but I, I'm feeling like you're not gonna be giving it to just a million people anymore. Ooh, there it is, there it is. There it is, I love it, guys. I love the higher font, I really do. In an energy like this, this feels like it's stable. It's not gonna be just like fools rush in. You do have the full energy, but that's talking about the kind of flirt, the kind of commitment that you're gonna be having is like a very fun, flirty, um, maybe even dreaming of one another. You could be having dreams with somebody coming in soon. I definitely see a long-term stable partnership. But I'm seeing time off to be with this person. Like you're gonna be able to spend a lot of time with this person and not have to worry so much about finances. You might even be taking a vacation. It's not so much that, I'm getting a stay at home thing. Like I'm getting a staycation for pile two. Strength card, hmm. What is this? Six of Wands. What's this, please? Queen of Wands. Huh. I still don't know. Nine of Cups. Did you see how that came out? That, that's not supposed to be like that, but you have the second Nine of Cups here. It's almost like I'm, I'm not allowed to see what this last part is yet. You have one wish fulfillment coming in. Your justice is a partnership with somebody. But then there's a second row here, a, a second portion to this, and I can't tune into what that is. It's gonna make you happy, but I don't know what it is. Hmm, I don't know what it is. Let me see, please. What's this? Is this confidence? It's high priestess of earth what is this the moon i don't know what it is i can't tell look fragment look I, you guys there's something else for pile two it's a surprise it's a surprise i mean you have the higher font twice and the nine of cups twice i love that energy for you but i don't get to know what it is it's like the high priestess of earth is like a high priestess knows shit but she doesn't always speak it I think you're about to meet your divine match. We have the higher font and high priestess now. But the moon is telling me there's secrets here. There's secrets here. So this is one thing that I know you know you're manifesting commitment with somebody. But there's like something else right here that I don't get to know about. Ooh, I'm done. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. I love it. Oh God, guys. We have the warrior on the bottom, the number two here. I just said you have two of everything basically. And then you've got fulfillment here. Look at this, look at this, fulfillment, fulfillment, fulfillment. I told you, it's a gift, it's a surprise. I'm not allowed to tell you. I'm not allowed to tell you. You have two blessings coming into your life. Justice is like you getting, okay, I think, I, I don't think that this is it, but I do hear one other thing, that somebody's karma for you, for hurting you, is going to be having to watch you fall in love with somebody else. I heard that for somebody. But yeah, there's like this secret wish fulfillment that I don't get to know about. Yeah, I don't get to know about it. Um, it'll make you happy. I promise it'll make you happy. But yeah, rigid. Spirit's pretty fucking adamant about this. Like, I don't get to know. I don't get to know. It's, it, I heard it, it'll all add up. We have 20 plus 30 is 50. It'll all add up, okay? But they're pretty rigid. High spirit, high, high priestess of spirit. Again, I'm not allowed to tell you. But you have some fucking blessings coming in. So let's recap. We have a renewed sense of energy, okay? Really excited for you for that. Intuitively knowing how to heal yourself without anything crazy like you know i mean unless you want to go to the doctor do please guys um but then we also have this amazing long committed stable relationship with a lot of flirting and a lot of fun and a lot of time for you to be with this person 
and not worried so much about real life. You get to like fall in love. It's really kind of nice when you get to spend so much time with your partner. And then there's this like wild card here. Mmm, lots and lots and lots of something. <laughs> I don't know what, but it's really fun. It's, you're gonna love it. I promise you're gonna love it. It's, it's a gift, okay, by the divine, but I don't get to know what it is, um, especially if you're a fire sign. Leo Sag Aries, this is your message, but yeah, guys, this is so juicy. Oh my God, I love it so much. I love it, love it. Or maybe a Taurus and a Virgo too. I love it so much. Like, you guys are gonna have a great a great year. I think this is for the rest of the year. Like you guys are going to just feel so good. So good. Your energy's coming back. It's full steam ahead. All right. I love you. If you want a personal, all the information's in the description, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, gorgeous. Welcome to your reading. Those who chose pile three, welcome. I'm going to get some shuffled blessings cards first to see if maybe I can pinpoint what manifestation you have coming in. Wouldn't that be cool? Personality changes. First date. Okay. Okay, really nice. Um, with the personality changes, I feel like that's a glow up. Laughter. You're going to be laughing more. You're going to be happier overall. Um, and what I heard too is if you're going to go on a date soon or you're, you're putting yourself out there for dates, like you're not going to take that shit so seriously. It's just, I, I feel like you're just going to have fun with people because you understand that it doesn't have to be stuffy and, and long drawn out. Like I think you're just going to have more fun on dates too. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see what else. And like meeting new people and stuff, yeah. Mm, okay, let's get a couple more. Pleasant news about. I just heard pregnancy for somebody. Somebody might be getting pregnant. Divine messages. Get ass out. Oh my God, you guys. You have get ass out and a first date and a confession. Oh my God. You guys are going on a date soon. Mindset shift. See, I told you, you went through something. You have like a, a totally different attitude. You have the attitude of gratitude. Look at that. Look at that with all these smiles. Look at you guys just loving life. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Pile three. I love you guys already. Like, let's, let's keep going. So you're going to have pleasant news soon. Divine messages. I was getting that this is your life purpose for somebody. You're going to start knowing, um, like, w what steps to take to really enhance your life purpose. That's something you can do long term. Because... Um, because the download I got was like, you, you used to be start and stop, start and stop about your, your work, but now you're going to know something about your life purpose that's like long term. For instance, if say you need schooling for this, you're going to know what to invest in for four years to finally be set for life. Like it's not just, anyway, I, I don't know if I said that. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Ooh, seven of swords, cycles. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's this? Okay, breaking bad habits. Oh my God, I just heard some of those bad habits are who you date or how you date or how you, yes, I'm hearing that you used to like mess around with people that were not really good for you and you didn't find out till later. <laughs> like this is like spotting the right red flags right away. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh my God, yes, the page of swords, bitch. What is this? 10 of swords. Oh my God. Listen, there's something here about the way that you flirt with people, the way that you talk to people, it's like you're learning that your energy is really, um, it's, it's, it's addicting. It's kind of addicting. And I think that you just brought in a lot of people who would take advantage of that. You're, you're starting to see when to cut things out real quick, real quick. People, places, and things real quick. Um, and what I like about the Six of Cups is this feels like soulmates. You're bringing in quite a few soulmates. We have a ton, guys. Oh, <gasps> justice, justice, the lovers. Oh my Lord, guys, there's only two decks here and you have the justice card twice, which the title is, which your justice. So I think that you're ending a lot of karma, a lot of karmic contracts with lovers, with partners, with people that you're dating. That's like another thing I was hearing is it's been start and stop with dates too. Like you'll meet somebody and, and talk for like a couple weeks and then it's gone. It fizzles out. This is going to be like, you're closing a cycle about that. Wow. Wowza. Also, another message. This is just for one person, I'm sure. If you are divorcing or you were in a relationship, oh my God, that's a yes. <laughs> Excuse me. With maybe a Libra or a Gemini or any air sign, um, you're going to get some sort of truth that might not be the easiest, most pleasant truth, but it's going to help you decide. I'm going to leave it there. It's going to help you decide, okay? Yeah, 
uh -huh, on closing a fucking cycle. This is a karmic cycle that is ending. You guys are done. Like, like 10, 10 of cups. You're done with cycles. This is like, this is like pile three. You don't have much karmic debt left to pay. 10 of swords, 10 of cups, and the justice card twice with the world. Ending of cycles. This looks like people who have continually been oppressing you, talking bad about you, gossiping about you, a whole bunch of shit. You're done with it. You're done. What did you do to be done with this? You made a decision. Two of swords, you made a decision about something. About something. The moon in reverse as well. I'm taking it in reverse with this. What? Two of cups. You know, I know what you did. I know what you did. You have recently made a decision, and this is why your justice is coming in. You've recently made a decision to stop lying to yourself about when people are really not even giving you breadcrumbs. Like, why do you accept breadcrumbs if you own the whole fucking bakery, Pile 3? You're not afraid anymore of being alone. That's what I see. You're not afraid of being alone, and that's why your justice is coming in. I don't necessarily see for Pile 3 like a long-term partnership coming in. I actually see you getting out of a long-term partnership. And I see you dating more, having fun, like having good sex. Like this is, this is fun. This is, this is like, yeah, this is, this is fun. This is adventure. Your, pile 3 feels like more of an adventurous kind of single energy. Queen of Swords. This is the divorcee for me, actually. Well, actually for a lot of readers. The Queen of Swords is a, divorce, a divorcee. Eight of Cups. I think, and Nine of Pentacles. Nope, I don't think. I know. I know that Pio 3 is divorcing, walking away from someone, a long-term partnership. It doesn't have to be divorced, but it's long-term and you're done. You're turning your back. You're absolutely done. Your justice is smiling more, feeling sexy in your own energy, buying new clothes, going new places, trying new foods, traveling. Like this is, this is fun. This is single. This is single energy here. But like you're still enjoying fun and pleasurable moments. You know what I mean? Yes, that's a yes. That's a yes, if I've ever seen it. Queen of Cups. You are really on everybody's radar right now, Pile 3. Like, you are really... You're coming through, like, brand new. Brand new. There's something about your personality has changed. You're just more light on your feet. You're fun. You're enjoyable to be around. You're the life of the party. Like, everybody wants to be around you. Everybody just wants to be around you. They like your energy. But I'm really getting with the fool. This is like, this is single. This is very single. You pack lightly, like you travel lightly. This is not, you don't have any baggage anymore. You made a decision to stop lying to yourself about people who didn't give a shit. And they didn't even treat you like, they didn't even treat you like they were married to you. They ignored you, I'm hearing. Yeah, seven of wands. Let's see, what else? Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. Gosh, this is the worst. And I'm going to tell you why. We have the Four of Pentacles. Because whoever this person was that you were with, they kept rejecting you even though you were in a relationship. This feels like miser, very greedy. Like, oh, you know, I, I don't really have time for you. They rejected you and they were very defensive and kind of standoffish. You're like, I'm fucking over it. I'm done. I'm done. Pio 3, you definitely know who you are. You know who you are. Um, and so I, I, you're done. You're done. You've made a decision. You're done. I, I split the deck open, you guys. You can't make it up. You've made a decision. You've stopped. You've stopped. You've stopped being the third party to people. You just weren't happy there. Too much conflict. They didn't give a shit. Lots of players. They weren't not investing in you, I'm telling you. So you have some really cool energy. Um, let's get a couple oracle for you. What is Pile 3 going to be blessed with soon? What's their justice? Talent. Yeah. Talent here. What's this talent? closure. Okay. There it is. There it fucking is. You're getting closure because you're just, you're tired. I, you know, this card, it's really embarrassing to say this, but when I was going through my divorce, I remember I was so desperate to keep my husband. We'd been, we'd been together almost 10 years and I was like dancing naked in the living room while he was playing video games. I remember one time I was that desperate to win this guy's affection that before we like really signed the papers, I was dancing naked in front of him to get his fucking attention. I feel so embarrassed even saying that. I'm just not the same girl. But yeah, no, that's called desperation. And that's what I did. And I feel like this is you recognizing that you are the talent. You are the main character, okay? And you're walking away. You're leaving this connection forever. Like, it's done. It's done. I feel like some of you just even signed papers, like, this week. Any other... New beginnings, love it. Transformation beats. I love it so much, guys. You're done. 
You're done. Like, it's it's over. It's over. You're never going back ever, ever in a million years. And I'm so proud of you. So is Spirit. And we just can't even congratulate you enough because you know this is really tough. It's really tough to go through a divorce or go through something so cyclical. Like you've been through this for lifetimes. I feel this isn't just your first rodeo. Like you've had to break this cycle for a while. But I see that you are really, you have a new beginning coming in after this closure. So congratulations, guys. I love you so much. If you want a personal, all the information is in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.